Hello guys, this is Roy69501. This video is for Sleepy Reader 666. Well, Sleepy Reader, uh, on my video that I posted on the comic book cover contest, that you asked if I was going to show one of my favorite covers, and I said I would do it on the end of the contest but I decide to do it now so I think you know and also uh, I saw your video about artist versus writer which one of the two are more important I, I say and I also I saw a video respond on your channel from uh, Minusha Mina talking about that also and I want to give my point of view about it so I'm going to start with a comic book cover I said I'm going to do it at the end of the contest but since I'm doing this video response so I'm going to do it now I'm going to show it to you now the one I like the most one of them because I got so many but this is I would say this is one of my the one I like the most is Amazing Spider-Man 362 Carnage Part 2 yep this is one of the colors that I like the most this one here and why I like this cover well you got everything there you got Spider-Man you got Venom and you got Carnage and you can tell by looking at the cover that it, that it is that there's going to be a lot of rumble on the pages on the inside. <laughs> so there's going to be a lot of fighting. And I just I like the way that they did it. I mean, Bagley, he used to, I mean, he, I would say that he was the, the best of, of doing Spider-Man back in the 90s. And this is from 1992, I believe so. Yep, 1992. And the other reason that I like this cover is because this is one of the best storylines from Spider-Man, from the 90s. Now, before that, I have no idea. But and this is the second part of one of the best storylines. So this is one of my best comic book cover yeah. now Mr. Sleepy Reader now about you your writer versus artist my point of view on that was I would say that because uh, that subject have two sides of the same coin it just depends how you look at it what you said and Minusha Minus said are correct. I agree with you, 100%. But, but, I'm gonna give you my other, my opinion from the other side of the coin. I would say that 55% uh, goes to the artist and 45% goes to the writer. Why? Well, I'm going to take myself as an, I'm going to use myself as an example. When I go to a comic book shop and I see all those comic books, like this one, if I see this cover, well, this comic book, within all those comic books, the art is what going to get my attention, it's not the writer, because I don't, I, because for me to know the writer, I have to read it, but with the art, I can tell, I mean it will get my attention, so yes, the writer, 
is the one who tells the story, or the artist is the one who brings the story visually. Because the artist is the one who has to put. I always believe that the comic, the, that a comic book is 50 50. In a sense that, well, the writer just writes the story. But the artist had to bring, with his art, had to bring the details that, this, that the writer is not putting in the story. Okay, it's like a, let's say, like a regular novel, Tom Clancy. They have, they have, they have, he puts a lot of detail on the story. Oh, the super, the main character was walking down the street, and, and, and then he stepped on something, he looked down, and this and that. There's a lot of detail. But in the comic book, the writer doesn't need to put all that detail because the artist is the one who put the other half of the story. That's why I say that it's 50 50. But to, for me as a reader, that will get my attention on a comic book shop is the art. That's why I said that the art is 55% and the writer is 45%. Because with the, that's what get my attention. I always say, there's one of my videos that I said that you can buy a comic book. It's more easier. It's more easy to to read a comic book where the if the story is not that good, but the art is great. You might that will go both ways. You know, just I mean that just just depending how how you look at it. But my opinion would say that the art is fifty five fifty five percent and the writer is the forty five percent. The art is the one who will get my attention to purchase that comic book. Now whether the story whether the story is good or bad, well that's another uh, that's, that will be some other video. <laughs> but for me what really will get my attention is the art from a comic book because when we go to the comic book shop we like to look through, look through the pages and if we see the art that is pretty nice that looks interesting we're going to purchase that comic book because I mean, you, know, I mean, you might read a couple of panels here or a couple, a couple of panels over there but you cannot read the whole thing at the comic book shop. But so I would say that 55% goes to the artist and 45% goes to the writer. Oh, uh, some of you people that are going to be watching this video, go check uh, Sleepy Reader 666 channel. They got some pretty good videos video about comic book reviews and his opinion about different subjects about comic books. And also check uh, Minutia Minute channel that he also do reviews and different subjects about comic books. So, well, that's it. Well, Sleepy Reader 666 Hope that you liked the video. Till next time. Bye.